Hey, what's going on, all YouTubers out there? It's Jono here again uh, with Old Tree Outfitters, and I got another uh, What's Sold on eBay video for you. New format that we're trying out, so leave a comment and let me know if you like this or however, if you like the old format better where I just show the, uh, the items. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the sales for today. So we got 40 sales, uh, $1,500. Uh, it's Monday, so we have a, there's a little bit of carryover, so um, we don't ship on Sundays. We do ship on Saturdays, although we're not required. I'm not required to. I do ship on them anyway. Um, and I did forget uh, last time about the tip I was going to tell you guys. Uh, so I do remember from last video, I told you guys about a little tip, and uh, it had to do with shipping. So let me just do that real quick. Um, if you are doing shipping and you want it to do same-day shipping, which is really good because customers want their stuff fast, um, I recommend doing same day shipping and an early cutoff time like 7 a.m. or even earlier that way any items that come in after 7 a.m. you are not required to ship until the next day so it's kind of a little bit of a, a lot of people know about it if you want the same day shipping just have an early cutoff time and as long as the if the order comes in after 7 a.m. you're technically not required to ship it till uh, the next day that being said um, if you're doing shipping you know ship all your items get them out the door get your customers their items as fast as you can all right let's go through these um, sales uh, so you should be able to see the screen and I will be able to to show you what's sold a little bit better than last time so here's a Nike shirt 17 bucks on that just kind of a nice style tank top um, all right let's see here we go all right, next we got a CC Filson shirt, adult, medium, medium uh, gray. Now I'm not gonna read the titles like I usually do. Oh, shoot, my my camera's in the way. I might have to change my camera so you guys can read those titles uh, for the next video. Here's a CC Filson shirt, good brand to look out for. Accepted an offer for 40 bucks. We got a Lululemon older item, just kind of standard uh, um, leggings. Accepted an offer for pretty low on that, just because they're kind of an older inventory item. We got a vintage North Dakota hockey UND hoodie, um, Fighting Sioux. That's a good uh, college. Got forty-seven bucks on the hoodie. Lauren Ralph Lauren. I don't usually do Lauren Ralph Lauren that green tag, um, but I just liked the style. It's, and uh, if you know how to word it right, so here's the title: Lauren Ralph Lauren Safari shirt, women's small khaki cotton twill button-up rare. I don't know if I, I think maybe someone put rare in there and then I kind of copied them because I usually don't use the word rare. Um, I don't know, it's just ta tacky. Uh, we got a vintage Nike baseball shirt. Okay, center swish, people like that. I don't think this is like the really old, you know, there's those old hoodies with the center swish that are worth a lot of money. I don't, you know, but I, get, I did get, I think I got 40 bucks out of this, best offer accepted. Here is a um, jersey, cycling jersey. The brand is Candice. 30 bucks offer accepted on that here we got a nike camo jogger dry fit there's the tag 37 bucks full price on that gotta love it here we are a, a majestic thermo base jacket adult medium minnesota twins um let's see there's the tag sorry there's the tag majestic pretty good brand uh depending on the team and whatnot um i think i got around 30 bucks on that Here's a cool jacket, K-U-H-L. Um, I got this. I really like the style of jacket. This had an embroidery on the back, um, and I still picked it up, listed it at 72. I think I sold it around 50 bucks for best out offer within like a couple weeks, maybe. So cool is a good brand to look out for. Vintage Nike pants, kind of standard um, red tag. I think I probably maybe 15 bucks it's every time it's crossed out like this that's best offer accepted and i'm just trying to remember what i accepted sometimes so it might not be accurate orvis sweater adult xl salmon orange quarter zip mock neck cot french cotton french terry so french terry is kind of that if you guys didn't know it's uh not the fleece it's what you know it's called it's called french terry or terry or whatever so make sure to include that in your titles all right we got Athleta, I do like Athleta because mainly they have the style codes right on there for you. You know, you can just kind of, or not, if they don't have the style code, they'll even have like the exact type of it, it is. So like, for instance, this one was called a, yeah, this one, I'll bobby it up. Most of the time they do. This one, I probably looked up the style code, but I guess it was called a Vienna cargo pant, okay? 
So 37 bucks on these, and I do buy clothes mainly by the weight, and these probably weighed less than a pound for me. So it's a good, it's a great find. All right, this is a cargo, this is like kind of like a Carhartt style jacket. I wouldn't, it's not, obviously it's not Carhartt, but uh, master made, it's vintage. It was in great condition, um, and I got, want to say 40, at least 40 on that. Carhartt, this was uh, just a Carhartt uh, hoodie, mid-weight. It had some... Um, as you can see, it had some company logo on there, so I probably, 20 bucks, maybe less. All right, Minnesota Timberwolves, they're doing great this season, so I'm loving that. Adidas on the go, this is just a basic tee, I liked the graphic. I mean, I pay by the pound, so it's cheap, sold it for 17 bucks, pretty good. Columbia Fleece, I used to pick these up all the time, and then I realized that they're just not worth much i do not recommend picking up these columbia fleeces i got this i sold this one for 12 bucks and i was happy to get rid of it i like i said um i love columbia just not just their standard fleeces they overproduced them there's like a billion of those things out there all right we got reebok nba san antonio spurs tim duncan youth jersey i've been telling you guys i've been doing some youth jerseys lately and so here's a, an example of that uh i think i probably got 20 bucks for it here we are. Uh, okay, now who leave the, in the comment? How do you pronounce this brand here? Uh, Q Q Q Q. I I don't know. I think they made it just to hard to pronounce just for fun. Uh, it's got that. That's the logo you're looking for. This is definitely a bolo. So keep an eye out for this. It sold almost immediately. Um, I didn't even have the material on it. I think it was some sort of uh, you know thermal base layer. So the title is like this. Uh, Q Q thermal. Uh, shirt adult XL brown half zip mock neck embroidered logo fleece So that one sold almost instantly for 40 bucks. So keep an eye out for that. And then we got a Here's a vintage Winter Olympics fleece. So this was uh, made by Marker and it was the official clothing company for Salt Lake 2002 uh, 24 bucks on that We got a grunt style is a okay brand. It's kind of a patriotic brand um probably accepted an offer for 14 bucks on the nice uh you know don't tread on me logo there all right north face jacket women's large um the jackets i still get a lot of jackets uh and i will be continuing to get jackets all summer because i am planning on selling a lot of jackets next fall and winter so it all depends on how much storage you have if you're interested in in, in doing that kind of thing so this is just kind of a standard north face jacket i probably accepted an offer for 30 bucks Here's Polo Ralph Lauren Chino Pants Adult Size, or uh, Adult Size 3230 Tan. Uh, just kind of a nice pair of Polo Ralph Lauren Pants, $37. Giorgio Armani shirt, ooh, fancy. Probably accepting an offer for like $27, pretty nice. Um, here's the logo. It was just kind of a standard short sleeve. And here we go. Under Armour. See, now look at this. Now, this is what, what I'm talking about. Look at this Under Armour. Under Armour uh, sweater, XL, green fitted, cold gear, infrared sweatshirt base. $37 on that. Okay, the Giorgio Armani, I probably went way lower. So, Under Armour better than Giorgio Armani? I don't know, maybe. Um, Ebbets Field. Okay, I showed you guys this one uh, a few videos back. If you want to check that video out, I do try to make sure to have Bolo brands for you guys. I want to keep it information packed. I'm, that's why I'm trying to go fast. This is a Bolo brand. It's called Ebbets Field Flannels. Uh, they're made of like recycled wool and they've been around for a while and fairly desirable. Um, and another tip for you guys, I was getting a lot, of, I priced it pretty good, I thought, uh, maybe a little high, $57. Was getting a lot of action on it and I was getting a lot of offers. And so what I do in that case is I counter offer high. Okay, so if someone offered me, you know, 40 bucks, I counter them. 55 52 bucks something like that because I'm getting all this action um, And in my mind, it's probably gonna sell for full price, you know sooner or later So I was right. It, I didn't have to accept any of the offers I got the full price on it just maybe a week later or less uh, So if you do are getting a lot of action on certain listings make sure maybe counter them high uh, Don't accept counter them high and then hopefully it just sells full price within the next few days if it does have that much uh, traction so that's your bolo brand for the day Here's a vintage Foresters. These are just kind of like uh, nylon pants. Um, people are liking the nylon pants. Keep an eye out for them, and they're very light if you do buy by the pound. Vintage STP oil shirt, adult, large, faded graphics, Y2K, uh, mechanics. See, I just put some, it's all about the title, really. I mean, this shirt is 
it's kind of a nice shirt. It's definitely got like a, a look to it. I, but it's ten bucks, you know, and I probably paid a buck. So what can you say? Dallas, Dallas Cowboys Pro Line jersey probably got thirty bucks on that. Here we go. Oops, did I go backwards? Yeah, I think I did. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, there was another Columbia feast. We'll we'll skip it. Here's a Carhartt pants, uh, gray, you know, little tattered. There's the thing. Carhartt's good. Twenty seven bucks. I mean, certain car is better than others. Uh, I don't get all Carhartt. I just you know depends. Uh, so that's a nice pair of pants, and we got vintage NASCAR jacket. Okay, I really like the embroidery on the back here. Uh, Man USA. I'm surprised it took so long to sell. Um, it finally sold for twenty-seven bucks. It was thirty percent off. Probably could have gotten a um, better price if I would have listed it with my standards today, and you know, so definitely could have got more on that, but that's okay. This I just bought. Great little flip. Washington Redskins new era visor. Um, probably about 30 bucks on that. Here we go. Carhartt just uh, listed this almost immediately sold. I'm talking immediately. Had a hole here. I listed it with the hole. A lot of these vintage ones, they don't care. They'll sew it up or whatever. It's got a nice look. It's got a corduroy collar. Um, and you know, what, what else can you say? Nice uh, Carhartt, 57 bucks sold about in about 10 minutes. Uh, we got a Liquid Death shirt. Um, Grim, okay, Liquid Death is this water this guy made water he put caffeine in it i, I don't know it's it's kind of dumb in my opinion it's all marketing and whatever but 27 bucks on the liquid death it's got some nice graphics kind of reminds me of like uh, I don't know, led zeppelin or something wallace and barnes vintage j crew okay we got 30 dollar offer on that accepted it so like i said i do do j crew um it really depends on what it is a lot of people are like you know j crew ll bean are garbage you know it all depends it, it really there's two there's a lot of factors that go into what i decide to buy and i can get into more of those uh factors um in detail within future videos but we'll just keep on trucking ll bean camp shirt nice little you know standard camp shirt probably got 20 bucks for it here we go hard rockers i liked this one it was like a it's like a college um sweatshirt south dakota school of mine technology hard rockers so i just saw that and i was like you know what that's kind of cool even if you don't go there you maybe want to pretend you went there hard rockers so i got 37 bucks on that north face hoodie standard uh probably got about 30 bucks on that if i if i list something for around 37 dollars i'm trying to get around 30 bucks for it if i lift list something for around 27 dollars i'm trying to get around 20 bucks for it um that being said it's all depends it all depends so uh, if I do see something, that, if I see an offer like this, I'm assuming I got around 30 bucks for it. It could be less. I do go, I do accept offers slightly less. Don't don't tell anyone, though. Um, all right, Eddie Bauer. And this is the last one. This is just a nice um, women's um, coat. Eddie Bauer. There's the tag. Down, pre one of their premium downs. Uh, these are pretty common. You can't get too much for them, but they do sell. So we price them low. If it's in good condition, it'll go. Uh, and I got probably around 30 bucks for that as well. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you uh, aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the new format. I just did do redo my um, my uh, photo booth right there. So I can just do a little video on how I did that. Uh, I'm pretty excited about the new background. So all the new background is going to have this uh, granite brick on it. Uh, it's going to look really sweet. So thanks again uh, for watching uh, and tuning in. Until the next time, we will see you around.